back with another video. As you can see, I've had a hair change. I cut it and um, just these are my natural little waves or whatever. Um, got baby girl with me. Say hey, baby girl. Hi, guys. Um, so we just got like a quick little exchange or whatever um, at Burlington Coat Factory. So we're going to go inside and just like look, self care study, of course, so we see what products we can find for you and um, let you know about the products. Um, that we find okay so um if you're new here make sure that you comment like subscribe oh my god i'm looking at myself for the first time on camera i look so different but um i love it there's so much freedom once you like get rid of hair that you don't want you know and my birthday's coming up next month so i want to look different and i'm going to just find different ways to style it like right now it's like i just washed it and stuff so i got to play with it a little bit more and see how i want to um wear it. I hope that notification didn't pop up in you guys' face. But anyway, we're going to go inside. We're going to Berlin's Co Factory. There it is right there. And uh, we'll be back with you. Okay? Okay, lovelies. We just left Burlington. Um, had to turn on the light because it was actually dark. dark. So um, it is dark around 6 something. So honestly, yeah. it's really early. It's like, like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. But right? Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, daylight savings. Is that what it is? I think so. Yeah. Something Anyway, so, they're just taking away the um, the time. But we got a bunch of stuff, and we'll show you a haul when we get back, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, bunch of stuff. So, that's all we got for you right now, and um, we'll keep in touch. I swear, it was so hot in that store, I wouldn't have wanted to it's vlog okay. inside anyway. It was so uncomfortable. I know they had the heat on like yeah, it was just, it was too much. It was just too much. It was very, very hot, and it didn't make sense, honestly. And um, the lines were long. Tell me why do they give, like, people, like, three cashiers for a thousand people in line? But Walmart is the same way. It's kind of <laughs> Burlington <laughs> is always stopped on Sundays. There's always a full line of, like, a hundred people in there. Yeah. And people keep coming. Right. So, so you definitely more registers. than, like, you're going to need more than, like, two registers. But today they did better than normal. We had at least three registers. Yeah, there was three. Usually there's yeah. two. Right. Usually. <laughs> so, I mean, they're such a good store, but like, yeah. When it comes time that you've been in there for like an hour, like you don't want to stand in line. Yeah, like you're a, ready to like go for another hour. Exactly. But the the cashiers are always super nice. They're very sweet, and I love Burlington Coat Factory. It's it was a nice pretty place. fast today. Yeah. Okay, lovely. So we just, you know, checked in because we just left the store and we was only in there like maybe an hour and a half, two maybe hours. An hour and a half, hour. What yeah, an like hour, hour and a half. So when we like talked to you last time. But anyway, um, like I said, we'll get the haul to you when we get back. Bye. Hi, lovelies. Happy Self Care Sunday. As you can see, I had a hair change. If you follow my Instagram, officially one stylist girl. You saw it yeah. first, okay? I got a special guest, my daughter today. Hi, lovely. I hope you guys don't see this notification popping up. <laughs> it's showing, but anyway, um, we're gonna go into our like Burlington Co Factory haul, and then we got some self care like beauty items too. And why is this not like showing your face? It's gonna show my face in the video. It's just not gonna be showing my face in Okay, but it's kind of crazy. But anyway, um. We're just trying to figure out, like, having some technical difficulties, what's going on. Okay, so anyway, we got a lot of, like, it looked like it was a lot of stuff, but it wasn't. But it seemed like it was a lot of stuff, because it's a little pricey. But um, we got other stuff, too. But anyway, um, all this stuff adds up. You know how it goes. But um, self-care items, I think, I don't know, I really remember what I got. So when we go through the bags, then you'll be able to see what we got and um, we'll go from there, okay? Yeah. And we'll be able to see again, too. Okay, so let's just get started, and you can go off with your stuff. Okay, first, um, my mom was telling me, like, yeah, I need another belt. I have two. My chain one that's a little bit looser, and then my other one that's more thick. This is another one that's more fit that I need, and yeah, I like it because they're different color, and I want to have, like, but you got to tell them the brand different and all that, too. belt styles, and it's Michael Kors. I can see the print on it. thought that was cute. Okay, um... And this is nice. Okay, let me give you. I'm trying to give you all your stuff. This is all you. So you can go if you want, or we can take turns, whatever you want. Um, this is the Nike top that I saw. I thought it was cute. 
it's like has like a little periwinkle kind of color and it has like pink Nike swoosh in it. This cute little Leah top that me and my mom are going to be sharing yes, because can. we both like the kind of like graphic tea style. And like I love Leah tees. Fun yeah. girl. Love her. And I thought this so was this really cute. Even though I don't even like really wear red like that, I think still think it's a cute like graphic. And this Looney Tunes. Love this. I've been looking for a Looney Tunes like kind of t-shirt. So yeah, thought this was cute. So if you want to get pick up some graphic tees, um, Burlington is your go-to place. We found that actually in the men's department. So, yeah. like, shop everywhere when you go places. Like I say, even when I'm thrifting, I go to a lot of different places, areas in the thrift store, because things could be, like, misplaced. They may not be in that particular section that you're looking for something in. So, it's best to go everywhere. And so, even when you're, like, shopping regularly, go to different areas to see, like, did they put this here or did they put this there? Because these were, like, men's small like, shirts. All these and anybody can, like, wear that. You know what I'm saying? It's those are really tees that and anybody they, can rock. And, and they you like will. mix up a lot of stuff too. So. Right. And I thought that was just like a nice gray graphic tee because yeah, that's usually the color I go for in like graphic tees. So. Right. And Looney Tunes can't go wrong. Yeah. They're so cute. And then um, I found this cute little bag. I was in undecided because I was gonna get these like Calvin Klein purses that I saw there, and one of them was just way too big. And I was like, oh, no, it's bigger than me almost. So I was like, yeah. it was so cute on the hanger, you know, where they had all the purses hanging. But when I looked at it, it wasn't for it me. Wasn't and I should have like inserted a picture and showed you guys that I was deciding, but I, I didn't. And I didn't vlog there because they had too much copywritten music and stuff. And I was like, you know how YouTube is. We can't, as vloggers, use the copywritten music and stuff like that. So that kind of takes the fun, fun out of the video if I can't talk to you and then the music is playing too. Um, and then I have to do heavy editing and all that kind of stuff. So that being said, we said we would just talk to you in the car. And then as you can see, it was dark. And when we went in, it was like nice. Uh, but it's getting dark early, I guess, because it's daylight savings time or whatever. So I just be glad when everything like spring comes and then it'll be getting darker later instead of earlier, you know, uh, when these winter months pass. So anyway, I found this Puma uh, purse there. It is so cute. It reminds me of the purse that I had to get back to the Goodwill because it started peeling on me. I had this purse in a vlog a long time ago. It was one of my best scripted finds. It was like a Puma patent leather purse, but it started peeling, like right at the part here. But this is made out of nylon, so I won't have that pro problem at all. And it's made out of like a microfiber material. And I thought this bag was just really cute. Like, you know, like an everyday bag if I wanted to just, you know, rock it or whatever. Um, and... It might be a, it's not like a lunch tote or anything, because I know some people are like, oh, that's a lunch tote, but it's not. It's a real purse. Um, it has the compartment inside. They even have this where it keeps your purse closed. And I've had Puma purses before. They're really good, uh, high quality purses. Inside, there's nothing like a wallet or anything, but it's just empty. And you know, you guys know me, I have a love for purses and accessories. Just, that's my thing. I love it. I love shoes and things like that too. So, um, I think this is really cute. I just love it. The way it's made. You can see the nylon. And I like the material. So it's kind of like a microfiber material. There's a lot of stuff that can go in it too. And it's very lightweight. So if you don't want to carry a lot that day, you don't have to. Then, I'm missing one shirt for my son. But I don't know where it is right now. But anyway, um, it was the NBA shirt. Do you see it anywhere? See if you see it for me. The uh, bright yellow one. So anyway, um, oh, it wasn't an NBA shirt. It was a bright yellow Tommy Hilfiger shirt. I'm sorry. So anyway, I got my son this NBA shirt, NBA all around, and I'm looking for I think it's in this bag. It's in this bag. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's right over here. So when we go into the beauty products, you just get that yeah, for me. So anyway, I got him this. Sorry, we got distracted. I did. And um, it's got all these pretty prints, like white, red, and blue, and I think this is just so cute. You know, it's a vibe. So... I got this for him. I couldn't resist. Then I got this for me. It's an Aaliyah T. You know, I love Aaliyah. And this is just so cute. This is really her vibe when she was alive, you know. And um, I just try to like get any tees that I have for her. I actually want to build a collection of her tees. I only have six right now, so it's not much of a collection. But every time I see a shirt by her, I grab it because I loved her and I loved her singing. I love the message and everything. And um, she was like one of my favorite singers when she was alive, and she still is. So, yeah, yep, 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 that one is on. Then, this is for my son, uh, the Tommy Hilfiger tee. I just love the color in this. I think it's so cute. 
and it's just got the print all the way around here. It's just really cute. I like it. It's very spring-like, you know. I can see him wearing this with like dark jeans or whatever. And he, he did have some really like some pretty white colored uh, pants that his Aunt Rini got for him a while ago, but he outgrew them. So if I run across some white pants, that would be really cute too with this shirt, you know. So that's it for the clothing. Then we can just get into and like the self care beauty products. Self care beauty products. Um, first we just got these like. Sugar. You got those, not me. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't eat those. She, she got those. <laughs> There's a lot of air in them, which is like an L, but it was cheap, so we got that. So then I got this. Oh, then I got this little Evolve satin white edge bonnet because I don't have anything to keep my hair. Uh, a bonnet because bonnets are like frizzy bonnets are like frizzy well, well bonnets keep your hair from being frizzy whatever I'm trying to say yeah you can show that it's okay but not right now um, but anyway she was asking me she should show this so I'm like trying to talk to you guys and talk to her at the same time sorry about that but anyway uh, this is an Evolve Luxe satin bonnet and this was only $3.99 so this obviously might be I think this is cheaper than beauty supply stores but um, they only have one left so so let me grab it. It was cute and it's in pink, hot pink color. Then I got this for my little niece, some scented nail polish, five nail polishes. She's so cute. And I think she got stickers in like here. Stickers I'm not sure. It. Yeah, and that's a notepad. Oh, she got stickers and a notepad and she's always drawing. You know, we always draw together. So she's going to love this. So it's so cute. That's cute. Okay. Then we got this little like USB like um it's a carport car thing. Charger yeah. thing. So yeah. Turn it the front way. Front way. Yeah, there it is in there. Then I just caught these um like hair clips for when I wear my hair like low or high. I like these ones better than like the two I had because I think I lost Those one of them. So I only have one now. And these are bigger, so I think they hold like more hair. And then my mom told me to get these because they're kind of basic, but they also have like a different pattern than most like claw clips. So yeah. That's it? That's it. Okay, well that's the end of our Burlington Co Factory haul. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're new here, make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, and share the channel. But make sure you subscribe um, because I do great videos about affordable fashion, how to and style, and I do thrifting and family vlogs. So uh, you get a little bit of everything in this channel, and I welcome you. We are the girl gang, which I don't have up here. But anyway, stay positive, work hard, and make it happen. Love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to put these Skittles on here. We have to break and get the Orange Skittles. ones and the yellow ones. I mean, the orange ones and the green ones are the ones I'm going to use. So you can see this is a really easy and cute little treat and Easter. affordable that you can create. Even if you guys want to do this on like plain cookies and get some icing and some Skittles, that'd be good too. Okay. So we couldn't find any candy corn, so we just wind up getting some like original Skittles or whatever. And these are our little treats. Oh, these are so cute. They're so cute. Don't you want to decorate those too? I can decorate these for you guys. I think I'll do a face on this. What one. icing did we get? I didn't, we didn't tell them that. We just got regular vanilla icing. Regular vanilla. Okay. Rich and creamy. Yeah, they never give you enough icing on these Pop Tarts. They don't. I mean, it's kind of stiff unless you guys, I don't know if you guys still microwave them or you just eat them how it is. I don't know if it's possible to even microwave them because I feel like they always melt in the microwave and they just don't turn out right. Or in the toaster, which is what they're really supposed to be put in. I'm gonna use any color. I got a lot of yellow. So guys, get back up there. Something cool you guys can do. It's like a little face on this one. 
and we're done guys that's what it looks like clean up this a little bit oh wow that looks so cute so did you make a you made a face out of this one i made a face out of that one i was gonna do a pumpkin but i didn't know if we had like any time or anything okay so that's it we're and done with this craft happy halloween happy halloween we only had one good day in April, if you ask me, and I saw these beautiful ducks and thought of these quotes that I created a while ago and wanted to put them in the vlog. Okay, lovelies, this is one of my favorite snacks, the Ritz crackers and the Natural Jif peanut butter. Doing some grocery shopping. I went to two different stores. I checked out some Revlon professional hair treatments, too. More groceries. That's it. And, um, yep. Yeah. how I wash my stuff when I get it from the Goodwill. Use my laundry sanitizer, 0% bleach. Put that in. Then I use whatever detergent I'm using for that particular week. Right now I'm using the fresh linen by Up and Up brand, which is by Target, I think. Bring that liquid in. I actually might have used too much. Oops. Okay. So I can't give you guys a haul until I've cleaned these clothes, okay? Even if they're new, I still wash them because you never know where they've been. So I put all the light colors in there now. So just wanted you guys to see how these clothes are washed. Alrighty. Okay, lovelies, can you see this? There's snow in April. Oh, I don't feel like doing a spring haul with this stuff. Look, it's horrible. Messing up my boots. But anyway, just want you guys to see the lovely spring-like weather. <sighs> the joys of snow, huh? Everywhere. Lovelies, we're doing a little bit of Osmo art today. And uh, if you didn't hear about Osmo, probably I told you about this last Christmas if you've been with me that long. Osmo Pizza Co. is a great game for kids. Um, as you can see, they have their own little restaurant that they run, run your own pizza shop, make pizzas with toppings. Auntie Lorraine got this for my baby boy. Say hi, baby, to everybody. Hi, baby. <laughs> hi, <Okay>. baby. <laughs> so as you can see, um, he is making a fish with some, um, like an ice cream sunday on top and this is so that we could give to the teacher so we're just tracing a picture from osmo art and just putting in the finishing details for the teachers for a christmas present from us and it's going to show him his own little video at the end so you get the name the, what you're doing and you can do a video of it as well so this is the real picture and it's in uh like red and then you trace it Happy Easter. May the renewal of life at Easter bring new blessings of love, hope, peace, good health, and happiness to you and your loved ones. Hey, lovelies. Welcome back for another vlog. In this vlog, I'll be talking to you about um, the end of April vlog, actually. As you see here, um, I've created Easter table decor. This is my like Dollar Tree stuff that I got. I had some leftover Easter grass and some tissue paper that I used, kind of to make a basket for the rabbits that I bought from Dollar Tree. As always, um, you know, the Dollar Tree comes through for me in a clutch. Uh, this is just the end of the April vlog. You'll see what I used to create the Easter table decor. If my kids didn't still want to do this, I probably would not even keep up with this, guys. 
But it's fun for me to see them enjoy our little DIY crafts. Um, as you see, I had the little snowballs. Um, there were some Welch's snacks. We didn't do an Easter egg hunt. The weather wasn't all that great, really. Um, now my daughter is doing her project here, her DIY. That was the pink snowballs. We had the glue gun, scissors, and crayons. My son, of course, didn't want to be bothered with this at all. He told us a big fat no. Uh, but he was dancing to Shaggy in this video, which you'll see later on, which cracked me up because that I didn't even know that he shared the same, <laughs> the same, the, uh, he, he shared like the same musical taste as his dad, which tripped me out. But anyway, it was very fun to see. So it was good to get these little memories. Um, you know, and if you don't get these memories, then where do they go? I love my little white Dollar Tree basket. Um, my daughter's very creative with art, as I always tell you guys. She really didn't want to do the project too much either, but I had to, like, ask her, like, please go ahead and do it because, like, I was doing a lot of other stuff, too, trying to get the table together, and then we were trying to leave and go out and stuff. So I had a lot going on. I had to get my son together, so... She decided to do something, you know, so we could have something because it was getting late. And I said, you know, um, we're not going to really be around that much. Too. We'll be here to enjoy, but at least get something so you have some memories and you guys can take some pictures. Because that's always important to me for the holidays is for them to like to take pictures and, you know, we have things to do. So you see she made the little ears, the nose, the eyes, the mouth. And, you know, the little rabbit is looking so cute. So this is all from Dollar Tree, and this is what it looked like. Um, they had the little carrots there and everything. I made a little basket for them, for the rabbits. And as you can see, the chicks and the rabbits, they're going towards the carrots. So Dollar Tree really came through as they always do. I put some little bubbles in there for them. Um, my son, don't let him fool you. He didn't do anything in this project at all. <laughs> He's just holding the basket for pictures. But uh, anyway, um, I got him together. Uh, my daughter, she gets her own thing. She will ask me my opinion. Like, Mom, what do you think? Is this cute? Is it not cute? And stuff like that. But she does her own thing with her fashion now. And she should. She's a teenager. She's a little bit older than her brother is. But I still get to help him out because he hates fashion. Uh, he only loves computers. So I never will see him getting into fashion at all whatsoever. Uh, that's me. I wore my husband's shirt and some joggers uh, with my guest uh, purse and my guest combat boots. And, of course, my Discovery sunglasses and my pop of color, my Hawaiian punch. I think that's what it's called. Or pineapple punch. Uh, from the um, and in this part, you'll just see them, like, getting down and dancing to Shaggy. This is a musical taste clip I was cracking up. They had my stomach hurting because it was just song after song. And there's my son yawning. And, you know, just had a fun. And my daughter's like, look, she's so annoyed. So I was like recorded. Then we took some pictures um, and everything. We got a little kiss in. And my daughter was like, don't be kissing my mommy. That's her face right there. 